Okay, I just wanted to say that this movie was legit. I thought it was good. I was very surprised. Um, if this is any indication of what his Batman movie is gonna be like, it's gonna be pretty damn good. Um, I'm no professional. I don't know a whole lot about, you know, movie making and all this, but I thought it was a good movie. I thought it was very well rounded. Uh, I've always liked Ben Affleck. I'll put that in there too, though, because I know a lot of times people are biased and it's possible that there may be some of my bias speaking, but I do remember not feeling so great about Ben Affleck on plenty of movies that I've seen of him and not feeling so great going into the movies either. I did like Daredevil too, though, so I'll admit that. And I just want to be honest about the review. I feel that was it was well done. It was one of the better gangster movies I've ever seen. Um, I would put it up there with, uh, not with Scarface. You know what? Yeah, I would. I'll put it up there with Scarface. For what it was, I'll put it right up there with Scarface. And um, I thought it was good. I thought it was well acted. Like I said, I'm no professional, but I enjoyed it. Um, I, was very, I was very surprised on a lot of uh, themes that he touched on and what he did. And I liked the way he portrayed the character and what the character did in the end. And what basically the, how the character lived. I, I thought he was very relatable and that's the kind of gangster that I would want to be if I had to be a gangster, so to speak. Nonetheless, that's how I feel about the Live By Night. The, the uh, commercials and stuff for it didn't do it justice. I think the movie was totally different than what they were trying to push it out there as. It was done well, it was a good movie. So with that said, that's what I think about it. And uh, yeah. Nice to uh, talk to people that wanted to listen. Bye.